We're here at Salmon Am 2015 on the SE Electronics booth with Jonathan Pines, who's going to show us a new reflection filter. So, Jonathan, the, uh, the RF series uh, has been pretty popular. Yes, and with the bringing out of the space last year, uh, we also thought it was time to refresh and work on the instrument refraction filter because we'd gotten a lot of feedback from our clients in the field um, who were using them with Z-bars, with duct tape, with, with modifying different ways to hold different microphones or hold multiple microphones. And we said, listen, we can come up with a much better solution that makes this easy to use and really works well. So the basic idea here is that you can mount two microphones. You can use a dy popular dynamic, you can use a small capsule pencil condenser, put it with a ribbon, put it with another condenser, however you want. You can mount them coincidentally like this, put them, say, on the uh, uh, dust cap uh, of a 12-inch guitar speaker, mm -hmm. or maybe you want to actually mount it in such a way that you can do the edge of the cone and the dust cap at the same time for two different sounds. Okay. The idea here is that you can print these and later on get any type of guitar sound you want sure. and cut down on the bleed and the stage volume and reflection and even tighten it up in a live drum room or in a live tracking situation. Now, that's a very neat thing you can do with guitar and bass, but one of the things that's very cool about this piece is there's a number of other things you can do. First off, it comes with a stand, so it'll slide under a 412 cabinet or any combo guitar amp. It adjusts up and down in height. These will adjust both in the X, Y, and Z axis, so you can really position the microphones anywhere you want within this. Mm -hmm. But this also has a regular mic base thread here. So whenever you want to, you can take it, mount it sideways, and there's a bunch of other things you can do with it. Let's say I'm recording a singer-songwriter, and the singer-songwriter, always the problem is you get too much vocal in the guitar mics. Well, with this, you can actually mic the top and bottom strings and use it by angling it like this to reject that. Okay, there's cool. a number of other interesting ways you can do this in terms of if you were, say, miking a horn and you want to do the bell and the pads, if you were doing an acoustic bass and you wanted to get the bridge and then have a small capsule up there to get a little bit more of the F hole. So think of it, in, it as not just working on the stand, but working in a whole variety of ways. You could use to uh, shield a hi-hat, for example. And then one of my other favorite applications for it is if you take this out, put a regular round bass stand through there and put your kick drum in microphone, inside the kick drum, then put either a ribbon or a large capsule condenser on the outside, we'd of course suggest an X1D um, on the outside, and then shove this up on the kick drum. You have kick drum in and out with one stand, no hassle with where the cables go, nice rejection of the snare drum, nice rejection of the cymbals, everything around it. So right, we okay. really feel that this is a great upgrade from the instrument reflection filter series, mm -hmm. which is now discontinued. These are available, they're shipping now. We think this is a great product. You're gonna see this on stages everywhere. And how much are these gonna cost then, Jonathan? In the US, these cost $199. So good right. price point. Nice, thanks very much. Excellent, thank you guys.